Oh, and here's a video back in the subject of, yep, you can see it, clocks. And here is a wonderful example of something very unusual in my clock collection. This is a Russian clock made when Russia was part of the USSR. Um, this is just a timepiece, it's not a chimer. As you can see, it's got a lovely coloured face. If we turn it round here, you can see that this glass is all cut glass. Look at that. Ain't that some amazing clock? Look at that. You can, I think you can even see the internals. Let's turn it round to the back, and you'll see there's the back of it, all fancy looking deal. It's got a lovely strong spring look as I wind that. It's got a very strange effort to wind in it because when it releases it's very... <sighs> Keep going all the way because this has not been wound for quite some time so it's going to take some effort to wind it. There. It's got the set, the usual controls, it's got your winding key, that's built in, and your set control is here. Um, there's your set control just above your winding key, look, there. That one where my thumb is, that's what you set it with, that's your winding key. This here is where you regulate it. It's got a trap door. You just flip that up. You can get in to regulate you. You can have it anywhere you want. Look, it's a trapdoor for regulating the movement. As you can see, the back of that is very intricate. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, obviously, the light's catching it, so I'm going to turn the flash off on my phone so we can give you a better idea what this is like. I can get the flash to turn off. Can't do it. So let me just turn the speech on for a second. Voice over on. Camera. V flash on. And on. Viewfinder. Viewfinder. Image. Ins enable. Ins disabled. On. Off. There we go. Oh, you, can't, you can't really see it too well there, but there's the back of the clock from the perspective of no flash. Uh, Stop. Voice over off. There we go. Just put the flash back on. I can't. I have a bit of trouble getting there. We go. Look, you can see it from there with the back. Um, let's turn it around to the side. Now this clock is cool because you see these little screws here on the front, on the back. You just turn them a little way. Same with that one at that side. Oh, it hasn't got one at that side. Where did that go? We've lost one. We've lost a screw. That's unfortunate. Where did that go then? That's very unfortunate. That just slots out. And you've got your stand that it sits on. Your, phone, your clock sits upon its stand. Now, I don't know where that other screw has gone. There used to be another screw in that. But I don't know where that's gone. It seems to have lost its second screw. Well, there's the stand on which it sits. And here's the clock in my hand to show you how big and heavy that is. So there's the clock on the bench. Ah, oh, there's the other screw. I found it. It's there. So what you would typically do with this, I'm glad I found that because it's kind of important. Uh, that wasn't very well secure, was it? There's the other screw anyway, I managed to find it. What you do, you mount your clock, take your screws completely out, I think. Well, as much out as you dare. You put your phone like that so you can be seen. You have to swing your clock up onto the stand. This is going to be really hard to do. Oh, I think I got it the wrong way around. And I haven't. Bless you. Tighten that up. Just tighten that up like that. 
and there's the back of your clock fastened back on your stand. That's a great clock as well, it's not, not too shabby at all, as I like to say. Now I don't know why that's not sitting on properly, but it's not. For some random reason it is not sitting on this stand as it should. Well, I think we've got it now. Yeah we have. There we go. It's Russian, as I say, made in the USSR before Russia became not Russia. Yeah, this is not your average. Um, this is not your average clock. This it really isn't. I've got plenty of your average style clocks, and this puppy is definitely not one of them, as you can see with the cut glass, the beautiful shape. Just out of this world. I mean, the tick. I don't know if you guys are able to hear, but the. Let me just turn this around. You can't really hear it too well, but. I'll get the iPhone facing that way, you'll be able to hear while you... It runs pretty well for what it is. Yeah. I'm on Skype still with my friend Amanda while I do this recording, she's quite impressed. Um, yeah, so this is kind of a... This piece here, at the bottom, that's Bakelite. I think this is brass, there's got the little feet there, I think they're brass. I'm not sure. But definitely the bottom of that is Bakelite. You can see it's got something written on the front. We want to say this is at least 1950s. But again, we're not 100% sure of its date. But it's a beautiful piece. On eBay, these are worth about 50 quid or more. I only paid 18 quid for this. Pretty good going. Considering... We only paid 18 quid for this clock, and it's a beautiful runner. It's definitely worth having in the collection. Something quite unusual. And uh, as I say, it's only a timepiece. If we have a look at it from a distance, you can see just what it looks like when it's mounted up on its stand. I mean, that's sitting on my office chair. But you can see that it's quite a nice looking Quite a beautiful looking clock. It's not, as I say, it's not your average clock that. It really isn't. It's something quite unique. Um, been made in Russia. Uh, before it became not... Um, before it wasn't the USSR, it was just... You know, after... Before it was the USSR, when this was made, it um, was quite a dark, secret place. And to be honest, Russia still is. Kind of very dark, deep secret. But that's just part of the course, you know. It's just how they chose to be. But they brought out some beautiful stuff, you know. This this clock is a fine example of Russian workmanship. And I love it. Definitely wouldn't be without it in my collection. It's something quite unique. Um, it's worth quite a bit, as I say. And it's going to be a part of my collection for as long as I have one. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, for informational purposes, this has been recorded with the iPhone 4S, 16 gig, eight megapixel camera uh, with flash. So that's why I'm using the flash on this video because I really need to bring out the quality of this vid with this phone. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. I hope you guys enjoy and this will be going up next on my channel. After that, we've got a review of the iPhone 4S. And after that, the next video after that is a recording of a video I've taken about various devices which I use to charge my phone, various battery packs that you can buy. So keep a look out for those coming on my channel. And the, as I say, the, I've decided, I was talking to my friend a bit ago, and we've de I've decided I think the format of my channel is going to change slightly. Uh, more of reviews, looks at devices, that kind of thing. Give you guys some interest. Um, as I say, this clock here is a great interesting topic of conversation. Uh, there's plenty more clocks where this came from in my collection. We're going to go through each one in turn. You've seen the whole room. 
Uh, you've not seen it since we moved house, but you've seen the old clock room um, that was at the old house. So I figured that I'd do this and show you this little guy. Uh, videos now can be recorded for longer so I can do better hardware reviews and things of various natures um, So that's good I'm quite pleased with that So this is gonna call this a day for this video and I hope for you guys Will subscribe and we'll talk soon about more future videos and what we're gonna do and got lots more things where this came from as they like to say as Sabkyle04 likes to say, there's plenty more where that came from. And I do like his channel. If you're into autos and you want reviews of cars, and for those guys in the UK, it's not really relevant, but um, it's good to see how American cars develop. And uh, this guy's great. Shout out to Sabkyle04 for his channel. Uh, also, uh, Aussie50 for his channel on how to do things engineering wise. Um, V8 Jagnut, another great channel. Um, David's Farm, awesome. Yeah, sweet, as he'd like to say. This has only been a one beer job. In fact, no, no beer consumed actually. <laughs> but if this had been, if this had had beer, this would have been a one beer job, as Dave would like to say. Um, also, Wagner. I want to say 59270. Another great channel if you're into videos of cars and stuff, which I love, actually. Um, lots of channels. If I missed your channel and I've got you on my favourites, you're not, so I'm not subscribed to these guys, but I have them in my favourites list of channels. Um, you do great stuff, and uh, hopefully you guys will catch my um, vids soon. Because I am actually going to subscribe to these channels. I wasn't um, wasn't aware that I could easily do that, but I found a way that blind people can easily subscribe to YouTube channels. So I'm going to do that, because channel subscriptions always count. Uh, if anybody wants to follow me on Twitter, you can follow K underscore W-H-A-W-E-L-L. And hopefully I will get my auto share working, so we can publish more. So that's about the roundup. As I say, the channel format is going to change. Um, things are going to happen on my channel. Um, so I've got more clock reviews to do. I've got another clock in the dining room I want to share with you guys soon. You've seen it before, briefly, when I was doing the video about how to pack clocks safely. But we're going to do a proper review of it. Show it in action, show the movement, show all the internals. With this one, it's a very basic clock there's no real movement to show apart from where you wind it but yeah you know we've, we've got plenty to cover on this channel this channel format as i say is ra drastically going to change uh, when we get the hobby shop going you're going to see some old computer footage of old machines that i've got in my collection and get some old machines running that's not run for a few years so there could be some interesting vids um i'm going to do a tour of the hobby shop at some point when i get time so you guys can see what that is and hopefully um, we'll get some software reviews and stuff on the computer. So there's going to be a, a lot of more stuff where all this came from. So I hope you guys want to um, subscribe and see what I'm doing. If you happen to just be looking at clocks and you find this, um, let me know. Give me a shout, give me a squeak, whatever you want to do. And uh, hopefully this will let me publish because it's over 13 minutes long. 14 minutes now, I'm testing the water with this one. So yeah, there's plenty more where this came from. Um, hopefully you guys will enjoy this. And uh, I shall catch up with you all pretty soon. Take care and have a great one.